the sign of the times episode 106 from an undisclosed fire hydrant of course everyone knows firefighters is very unsafe very unsafe especially if they're part of a grand conspiracy with giant sports entertainers that talk to their palms and broads that people have trouble remembering their names because they aren't as important as NWA World Women's Champions. Those firefighters, not to be trusted. So if you're a young kid, don't trust firefighters, kids. Don't trust them. Just don't do it. They're not safe. You see a fireman, run the other way. Run quickly. So for the people that love the snaps, business card of Casey Carlisle, whom I love. Hashtag best in the world. Hashtag NWA World Women's Champions. The Twitter where you can follow me, but not literally. Kind of like Stevie Sharp Ain't Jonak does. Although she might follow me literally, she's a little bit stalker esque. Facebook, Form Spring, the YouTube, which you might be watching right now. Right now. Look at this. Pictures of Team Bad Knees and Casey Carlisle. Imagine the union that could be formed if they were in the same promotion at the same time. Imagine that. Mixed tag matches managed by Missile Liz. I'd pay to see it. Look at that. Slightly angry Casey available for all your gift giving needs. Speaking of which, you could buy Hello Casey and send it to everyone on your Hanukkah list because Hanukkah quickly approaching. Very quickly approaching. So. You buy eight of these and send them to people. So, like, say you got ten people on your Hanukkah gift giving list, you need 80 Casey Carlisle pictures, like the angry Casey in a cage gimmick picture. Buy 80 of those, send them out, you're covered. Real simple. It is. And look at that. It'll be a title belt, Casey. Have you ever seen a bigger title belt? Or, good send some Catholic schoolgirl Casey pictures which would be odd for Hanukkah really odd choice but still it's out there you could do it or you could get Team IOU comic books Nick, Iggy and I have something in common we both bumped our heads kind of hard according to the comic book and you know it's a fault of the firemen I blame them don't trust firemen, kids. Don't trust them at all. You see a fireman, you run away. Run away. We'll help you, they'll shout. No, you won't, you'll cry back. So, this week coming up, we have Sunday, Missy Sampson coming to the show. Missy Sampson has actually fought Casey Girl, whom I love. Actually, had. we'll discuss that in detail, I'm sure, with Missy Sampson. QT will probably ask some weird 1870s New York street gang questions. I'm going to presume, but I'm going to go Casey Carlisle route. And Monday, looking kind of free, Tuesday to lounge. Apparently Bob Rogers is going to be joining us. He called in last week, had a major announcement, but because there's like 35 people on the show last week, he, he wanted to show on his own, so I'm sure he'll come solo this week on the lounge and announce the big announcement. I'm looking forward to hearing Bobby Rogers, who I haven't seen in a couple of weeks. Then Wednesday, more or less free, Thursday, Thanksgiving, and then when the sun goes down, Hanukkah. So, Thanksgiving meal, and then some dreidel. I'm gonna play some dreidel. Yes. QT. If you're in the area, dreidel. I challenge you to dreidel. And you can bring me my Casey Carlisle autograph pictures, which I'm sure you're getting at CaseyCarlisle.com for all of my Hanukkah gift giving needs. That's pretty much what you're going to get. So, then Friday of next week, Kevin Phoenix from South Carolina, C4 Wrestling. George Mack helping us out with this booking getting them on the show should be fairly interesting. I'm sure QT will be asking why he has the same theme as the Moonshine Brothers and if they are related. 
I look forward to hearing his response once QT asks that question. So to review, undisclosed fire hydrant to remind people firemen are not safe. They really are not. You see a fireman, you just run away quickly. They'll say, we'll help you. You'll say, oh no, you won't. You'll face plant me in cement from 25 feet. Because that happens. It really does. And to review it. Sunday, Missy Sampson. You might know her from Pro Wrestling Syndicate. She's pretty active there. Monday. Eh, looking kind of free. Tuesday, the lounge, Bobby Rogers is going to be on. Wednesday, eh, it's looking free. Thursday, Hanukkah. And when the sun goes down, Hanukkah. So Thanksgiving and Hanukkah. Same day. That rarely transpires like that, but it is this year. So QT has multiple Casey Carlisle pictures to buy. And if we can help it, Casey Carlisle t-shirts and beanies. So Casey Carlisle, if you're watching this, you got mere days to create, market, and sell, and ship said merchandise to QT so he can get it to me in time for my Hanukkah needs. And if there's like a Casey Carlisle dreidel, I want it. I want that dreidel. I would pay upwards of $5 for that dreidel something to throw out there. Or if there's like a Troy Miller and Missy Liz dreidel, I would accept that. And Friday of next week, after I'm you know, still in the process of celebrating Hanukkah, Kevin Phoenix from South Carolina going to be on the show. And unfortunately, speaking of Hanukkah, Hebrew Hammer Joseph Schwartz not able to appear on the show this past Friday, but he is rescheduled, so all of you people furious he was not on the program as advertised. He will be in January. Schedule shenanigans arose, unable to get him, but it did bear the QT Vokes dating game on the lounge for December 17th, emceed by Tiffany Lineker. That's going to be amazing. Beast Barnett has circled it on his calendar 17th of December. So, that's something to look forward to. So, pretty much episode 106 from this undisclosed fire hydrant where we remind you never trust a fireman. Never. Nor giants that talk to their palms like this. Don't do it. <laughs>